In the wake of the Boeing 737 crashes that rocked the airline industry, everyone has had questions about how these incidents could have happened. And now we're starting to get some answers. A safety feature for the Boeing 737 MAX jetliners may be just days away to help prevent the troubles that led to those crashes. An additional warning light will now become standard equipment on all planes. The light will let pilots know when two sensors that gauge whether the plane's nose is pointed up or down are in disagreement. The warning light had been optional but will now be standard. Previously, it was a pricey add-on feature. But it appears those Ethiopian and Lion Air pilots didn't have the warning because their airlines would have had to pay for it on a plane that has a list price of about $120 million. Are you serious? <laughs> the reason pilots didn't know they were going to crash was because the planes didn't have a warning light. And they didn't have a warning light because Boeing was charging extra for it? <laughs> a warning? Like, that doesn't seem like it should be allowed. Features that keep planes in the sky should be standard. <laughs> this is like CVS selling condoms, but then they charge extra for the ones without holes. <laughs> also, if you're an airline and you can't afford a safety light, get creative, people. <laughs> Airlines are already filled with lights that you don't need. Make the no smoking light the safety light instead, all right? <laughs> we don't need that light. We all know you can't smoke on a plane. It's not 1962 anymore. No one needs that light. <laughs> what are you doing with it? You can't afford it. And if you still need to save money, maybe get rid of the in-flight magazines, all right? <laughs> There's no point in learning about Anne Hathaway's favorite sushi spots in Boston if the plane never makes it to Boston. <laughs> and finally, in some international news, there's a new scandal shaking the Catholic Church. A lot of Catholics see kissing the Pope's ring as a tradition in the church if you're lucky enough to meet him. But it appears Pope Francis isn't too keen on the idea of meeting people after Mass yesterday. The Pope kept ripping his hand away as people puckered up. Like, I, I, don't, I don't even know. I don't even know what this is. <laughs> First of all, I'm impressed at how quick he is, like, every single time. And secondly, it's a nice change of pace to see a priest not want to touch people. This is nice. <laughs> this is dope. Yeah. Now, now, apparently, they say the Pope is refusing to let people kiss his ring because he wants to be humble. He doesn't want to be praised like that. But the way he yanks his hand away <laughs> makes it seem like all those people are, like, super gross. He's like, ew, no. <laughs> ew, not you. No, no, no. Ew, no. And Francis really has some quick reflexes. Like, it looks like, like a weird video game where you have to try and kiss the Pope. 